Hello, Beyond the Stars, everyone. My name is Mystical Galaxy, and today I have a new background, but it won't be for that much time. But it is to record something I haven't done before. And like I'm saying, I used to do art. Well, not used to, I dabble. So that meowing you heard in the background is because we got a new cat. His name is Van Gogh. He was in this accident that made him lose his ear. And <sighs> so he's gonna be playing with his friend Susan. Go. Okay. So continuing with this video, I had to do, I used to take an AP art class, so I had to do like this portfolio and it, I had to send it to the college board looking like this. So it's pretty much your, oh, pretty much your information and stuff. So I had to send in 12 drawings, I think it was, 12 or 5-ish drawings and it, I had to send it so they can like grade it for an AP grade. So this is my art portfolio now. So I haven't opened this since I just got it back. And I got it back like last year, like last August. So I haven't opened back. Like I, I forgot which were the ones I actually sent. So I have more here than what I actually did send. Let's just react to all of them. No, this is my abstract one, which you take a picture, multiple pictures of one photo of one inanimate object or animated object and you connect you connect it you try to make it as perfect as possible like connect the flowers as much as they can you see how the stems connect here so this was oh one of the assignments oh this is the other one this is the black and white the, the things i cut into it was this black paper and i drew it and i cut it and then put it here. So everything I cut here is like mirrored to the other side or it's mirrored above it and it looks pretty cool. I forgot how good I did it. Working with pastels. So it's supposed to be like a sunken ship. Like this. It's not my best but it's not my worst. Okay this is the two point perspective that you see the roads going on two different directions. Oh, um, this was, okay, this wasn't an assignment. This is overall just like me being bored in the class. But it's, you draw multiple, like you first draw your hand and then you draw multiple like lines. And then in your hand to create that roundness effect, you connect the lines, but going in a more rounder point of view. Oh, this was also me being bored in the class. This is when I first, uh, the first time I tried doing the color pencil watercolor. I mean, it's cool. It's not bad. You know, if you're an art student out there, you know how multiple times they would take a picture of a jar or a mug and just like draw this. So if you're an art student, you know the struggle. This is my favorite one that I sent, which is this one. It's with not oil, oil pastel. This is the inside of a flower. It's so good. Like, I'm so proud of this. So this is the other one I sent, which is mixed media. And this is acrylic with the feathers, if you can obviously tell. And this is a girl with wings. And I decided to make the wings like feathers. So it's like, my topic was like fantasy. So I decided to make things that were like mythical, like mythical creatures or something like that. That's why this one has wings. This one just looks like a fantasy, the, the flower. So this is the other one I sent, which is the phoenix. And you see how the inside, it has like the shape of a woman. Because the title of this drawing was, a woman is as fierce as a phoenix. I'm looking back at these and I'm like, wow, I really did that. This is, I forgot what was. I also sent this one. I can tell which one I sent by the little barcode here. I forgot what media this is called. Is it abstract? I don't remember, but if you can, can't tell, pause the video now and let's see if you can identify what it is. Okay, so this is a unicorn. And I'm going to show you how this is a unicorn. There's the horn of a unicorn right here. And it's the thing that's black and white. 
Like if you follow the only thing that's black and white, it's the unicorn's body. And this is the eye, it's closed. And then the hair of the unicorn is what is comic strips. So this is the hair. The comic strips are the hair and the thing in the back that are like tiles is just the background. So that's how the unicorn is there. So there's this one which is also the shadowing. Oh, this is the one point perspective. This, these were the first drawings we did, you know? Which is the shadowing. Oh, for those Stringer Things fans, I did this like working with carbon. I tried to recreate Will's drawing. It's not perfect, but it's cool. The other ones I did was this one, which is watercolor and it's a forest. This is also an oil pastel. It's like snow. This was the first acrylic painting we did in the class, and it is the primary colors and the cold colors. So that's why there's only six different tones here. This is the other, uh, this was like a small drawing because for homework in the class we had to do like drawings to practice. This is the one I did with color pencil because I want to perfect how to use the color pencils. So this is the one I did. And last but not least is this one. Uh, this is a self portrait. This is quite cool. So this is the one I did. And I remember taking like the selfie in the class and being like, oh, we have to draw the selfie. And this is the selfie I took. And just to make it more of a fantasy feel to it, I added the butterfly on the side. I remember doing this in class and was like, mm, this does not look like me at all. But now looking back at it, So that's everything in this video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below which one was your favorite out of all my artworks. And I'll respond to them. Or if you want to criticize one of them, sure, go ahead. That's not everything I have for this video. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> so since his name is Van since his name is Van Gogh it's like perfect for this video. You're getting annoying. I think this is the <gasps> No, don't ruin it! Stop! My cat is a baby. He's two months old. That's why he everything everything he touches is like can be ruined. No. I'm sorry, my cat. <gasps> stop, 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 stop. Welcome to this. Yeah. Hey! I can't stop him anymore. Anyways. <laughs> I promise he loves me. My phone. Hey, hey, hey. Give this video a like if you liked how annoyed I was with my cat.